On May 8 of 2008, Joshua Maddox, an 18-year-old boy, left his house to take a walk and never returned. His family tried reaching out to his friends, neighbors, relatives on his whereabouts. They began searching homeless shelters, bus stations, underpasses, but he was never found. After five days, Joshua's family finally reported him missing. Seven years later, in August 2015, a man named Chuck Murphy was tearing down an old wood cabin to build a multi-story building, which is less than a mile away from Josh's home. The cabin hadn't been used in years, and the inside was damp and rotten. Work to demolish the chimney inside the cabin started. As the workers began taking down the chimney, they had come across something disturbing. Along with all the sudden dust, they had found a mummified body crammed inside the brickwork. The body was in a fetal position, with its knees over the head, holding a hand over its mouth. Strangely, there were no injuries, bullet wounds, or broken bones. It seemed like the person had curled up to protect himself from something. What's more unusual is that the body was naked apart from a thin shirt, and his clothes were neatly stacked inside the cabin. Soon, the authority took the body for autopsy and identified the body as Joshua Maddox, the teenager who went missing seven years ago. The coroner, Al Bourne, stated that Joshua's death was not sudden and that he most likely died of hypothermia or dehydration. He hypothesized that Joshua had attempted to climb down the chimney and got stuck. He would have been too far away for anybody to hear his cries for help. Many others denied that his death was the result of an accident. According to some people, someone stuffed Joshua inside the chimney, and it would have taken at least two persons to arrange him in the manner in which he was discovered. Nevertheless, by the way he was found, Joshua would have had to enter the chimney head first. Chuck Murphy, the owner of the house, was incensed, and stated that he had installed a rebar reinforced grate over the top of the chimney to keep out small animals and pests. With the grate in place, Joshua could not have entered the chimney. The police contradicted his statement, alleging that no rebar was found at the crime scene. But Murphy implicated that the grate was removed during demolition before the discovery of Joshua's body. What's more strange is that the chimney was blocked. The coroner also discovered that a large breakfast bar had been torn from the wall and placed over the fireplace. Despite, the owner has stated he did not move it. Would Joshua have gone in there on his own? stripped off his clothes, shoes, and socks, and then crawled up that chimney. And if so, how did the breakfast bar get there? It didn't make any sense. Despite all of these inconsistencies, the stated cause of case remained accidental death. 